I'm an addict for sneakers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. Quick unboxing on the Supreme Foam Posits I ended up getting on their website when they released. I was just kidding around with my friend thinking, you know, there was no way I was going to be able to get them. And I got them. I was shocked. I thought the shoe was okay. I didn't think it was amazing looking. So I was not even thinking about getting them. I do like red sneakers, but I have plenty of red sneakers now. I mean, I got the red Yeezys. I got a bunch of other red sneakers. I like the LeBron 9s I designed. These are a little different because it has that gold on it. And I'm just going to do this quick unboxing. I'm going to do a detailed review of the shoe. But right now, I'm just a little under the weather. So I'm going to do an unboxing video, just checking them out for the first time with all of you. So here we go with the Supreme Foam Posit. The SP stands for Special Project. That's what SP stands for. I remember someone uh, told me, what does the SP stand for? Super perfect because of, uh, you know, like the replicas. They have um, super perfect, that, that term super perfect. for. I guess that means like it's, um, you know, like super perfect dirt. But um, no, nah, that just means special project on the box for these. And the box is just like it usually is and I'm surprised about that because when they did the Python retro it had Python print on the top of the box so I would have thought maybe they would have put a Supreme logo on the box I think that would have been hot but they didn't clearly and um, let's see what these look like for the first time it's like good Oh wow, the bottom's got like a tint to it. I like that. That's cool. A little weird though. First thing I'm noticing when I'm talking about to myself <laughs> is the bottom has a tint, as you can see. And then it goes to a clear translucent over here, which is interesting. I don't know why they would do that. I guess maybe to show off this white checkered carbon fiber plate which seems to be a hit or a miss for a lot of people being that it's white and black a lot of people want it to be black supreme puts out a lot of gaudy looking stuff if you buy supreme a lot you know this if you do not and you're like oh my god the phone posit supreme is so ugly it's so like gaudy looking then you really don't buy much Supreme. You don't know about Supreme. Supreme is always putting out gaudy looking stuff, like always. Um, that's just what they do a lot. They put out a lot of stuff like this with this kind of like print. I don't know what the exact name of the print is. I've seen it on all types of stuff. I've seen it on clothing. I've seen it on art, you know. I don't know exactly what the actual name of it is, but you can leave it in the box if you know what it is. But my first impression is these are going to look great on my feet if I do decide to wear them. I'm going to keep them. Obviously, I bought them. I'm not a reseller. I don't like to resell my shoes. I just, I'm just not into that. But I will keep them, and if I do not decide to wear them and I have a opportunity to get some shoes that are reselling for a lot of money I definitely will consider trading these so these will be either some nice trade bait or something nice for my feet these are gonna look sick on feet it is a gaudy looking shoe you know what I mean but as I was saying that's really what Supreme does a lot of their clothing is like that I buy a lot of their stuff if you watch my videos all the time you already know I wear a lot of Supreme and I wear a lot of skate clothes. I used to skate a lot as a kid. I will do like a real detailed review. I'm just 
taking a first look at the shoe. And shoes that I'm looking for, if anyone was interested in offering me stuff, I'm looking for the Yeezy ones in a size eight and a half or a nine. I'm looking for the Questlove Air Force one in an eight and a half or a nine. I'm looking for what else am I looking for? Tiffany Dunks nine and a half or ten. And you know, if you got something else that's a little rare that you'd like to offer me, don't do it in the comment box. Just hit me up on my Facebook, which is the real DJ Dells. That's my Facebook. You you can send an actual message there, and either me or someone from my team will check it out. But leave your comments. Let me know what you think of these. Uh, the actual logos on the shoe is inside as you can see there the Supreme and the Nike logo and also on the tongue which is really cool I like that I love that you know they did this collaboration and some heads are asking why did they do this you know if they're a skate brand and they're doing this to a basketball shoe I I heard the reason why is because Penny used to wear Supreme clothing back in the days. I don't know if that's true, but someone showed me on their phone there was a picture of Penny wearing a Supreme hat. So I think there's some kind of inspiration. And the fact it's just, you know, crossing barriers, you know what I mean? It's a phone posit. Heads like wearing phone posits and people that don't skate wear Supreme. It just is what it is. Just branching out clearly. There's also Supreme right there by the way but let me know what you think of these they're reselling for a lot of money right now they're pretty much sticking to about a thousand bucks give or take and they're not going down in price <laughs> I keep noticing on eBay because I've been checking on them just in case I do a trade I want to know what the shoes worth so I know what to get as far as with a trade and People are people have no problem dropping it. I see people selling theirs for twelve, thirteen, even fifteen hundred, no problem on eBay. I like the black colorway also. I just am a big fan of red. The black colorway is a nice colorway, but I'm into red. I wasn't planning on getting them as I was saying. I thought I wasn't gonna get them. I did not think that it was gonna go through. I mean, I was taking my time. All my information was already up when I put it into my cart. And all I had to do was get my credit card. I walked to go get my credit card. I didn't even have it in hand. And I typed it in real slow, goofing around with my friends. Like, yeah, right, this is gonna go through. And it went through. So it was amazing that it actually went through. Uh, but all in all, these will look nice on feet. If I don't find the right trade for these, I have no problem keeping them and wearing them. These are going to look great on my feet. Do I think there's something where I would stand outside and wait overnight for? Definitely not, but they're nice to wear, you know. I know what the fuss is about them. It's just the fact that it's a collaboration with Supreme. Anytime Supreme does a collaboration with Nike, it's going to be a big deal. Anytime Nike does a collaboration with anyone, it's always a big deal. But I don't see this being something next level or anything like that where it's like, oh my God, I have to have these. You may think so, and um, if you do think so, that's great. That's, there's nothing wrong with being hyped up about a shoe. There are products we buy to wear. It's why you should be buying the product because you're excited about it or you just would like to wear it. You know, I'm not saying the shoe's whack, but I'm just not excited where I feel like I would stand outside in the cold for over you know 24 hours and possibly not get the shoe and still have to pay 250 dollars for it plus tax so like that's where i am at it but i definitely think it's something that's going to look sick on feet with this red is a really nice bright red so it's going to pop nice and this design is really bright too now that i actually see the tones of this design right here it's definitely different than I expected. I expected it to be more of like a golden color and it seems to be more yellow and orange and not like a gold. And um, it's definitely gonna be popping on feet. I'm very curious to see what the black colorway is in person, if it is more of a goldish color or if it is this exact design right here. I'll probably check out some reviews on YouTube now that I have these, but 
that's it for the quick unboxing i kind of gave you a review but i'm gonna really do a detailed review eventually i just i'm not feeling that good and i just want to give you a hundred percent when i actually review it so this is just like a first look unboxing video i hope you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up button if you if you loving the show make sure to share this video facebook twitter i always appreciate that and make sure to like this video if you loving the show it means a lot to me when i notice there's a lot of people that like the episode by hitting the like button it just makes me want to shoot more episodes because it can be kind of draining doing it all the time make sure to go to my blog every friday saturday morning for your sneaker information for the day on what shoes are releasing and sneaker news and by the way i know a lot of people are talking about it so i might as well mention it real quickly kanye west has confirmed that the yeezy shoe with adidas will be releasing in june so all the kanye west fans out there including myself all the adidas fans out there including myself are definitely excited about that look in the description box catch up and all the reviews follow my social media leave your thoughts on the shoe and with that said i'll be back really really soon DJ Talking shit about you. Some will even rap to pigs about you. But for the most part, I gotta love my neighborhood. Got a crime, just holler, you good. It's a beautiful day on the block. Chilling, cracking jokes, keep the youngest taking notes. Classic Snoop blasting out the window. Talking about drinking gin, smoking in dough. Pretty thing next door, fat ass, nice rack at the barbecue tonight. I gotta beg that. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood.